People get frustrated at the thought of playing against short pimples. I think that's one of the major things we have to really be mindful of. The first thing is to get the mindset right and understand that playing against pimples is just like playing against other rubbers, but you just need to get used to it. What causes the frustration when playing against short pimples? They go out there and they play against short pimples and the ball reacts differently to what they're used to. So that difference is what frustrates people. The huge problem is that people just don't get enough exposure playing against short pimples. Short pimples can't generate as much spin as an inverted rubber. So the ball is gonna to tend to come back flatter, lower, and without as much spin as you're used to off an inverted rubber. So you need to be able to adjust your strokes slightly because the spin that comes back and the speed that comes back is slightly different. So you can see with a short pimple, you can still generate spin. And you can generate quite a lot of spin, but it's still not as much as you would with an inverted rubber. Because the ball doesn't come through with as much top spin, you're gonna to tend to hit that ball into the net rather than over. What you need to do now is you need to adjust your stroke to lift, to lift the ball up over the net because the ball's coming through quite flat. You almost play it like there's some backspin on the ball. If I don't account for that, the ball's gonna go straight into the net. If I can put more topspin on the ball, it's actually harder for the player with short pimples to be able to block that ball. The short pimples doesn't cope with the, with the heavy spin. So I know Jeff's using the pimples there, so I need to lift, lift this ball again, yeah. So if I played that one second ball flat, I'll show you on this one, that ball's gonna go into the net. So normally, if Jeff was using an inverted rubber there and I'd played that stroke, it would have been fine. But because of the short pips, that ball went straight into the net. What about when I'm pushing against short pimples? When you push against the short pimple, again, there's not as much spin. So players will now tend to pop the ball up a little bit too high with the push. So you'll tend to do that because there's not as much backspin on the ball. Now what you need to do is think that there's a push, but the push has very little spin. So push down on the ball rather than lifting the ball. A player with short pimples can tend to attack the ball quite easily off backspin because the backspin doesn't have as much effect into the short pimple. You need to then adjust from that next ball. So when the player with short pimple attacks, you need to lift the ball again like it has like it has some backspin or it's coming through really flat at you. The first key takeaway is you're just not used to the reaction of the ball off the short pimples. You need to be able to play against enough balls against short pimples so that you recognize here's that ball, it hasn't got as much spin and this is the stroke I need to play rather than this stroke. How can I get more practice against short pimples? One really simple way is to buy a sheet of short pimples, put it on a racket and perhaps swap with your partner and get them to play with it for a little while so that you can practice against it and you can do the same for them. So by using the short pimples, you get a bit of a feel for, for what's happening on the ball. You can see, you can feel that one drop off and you can see that one and feel that one sail off. So by using the short pips, it just gives you a little bit better idea of what your opponent's going through when they're using the short pimps against you. Jeff has to really lift that ball up, which then makes it difficult for the short pimples player. Because the short pimples player doesn't play with as much margin because they're not playing with as much top spin either. Would joining a club be helpful? You will often find that there will be one or two players at a club with different types of rubber, whether it's short pimples, long pimples, anti-spin. Uh, so that's a huge advantage. If you can find a club in your area, you'll just find different opportunities to train against different styles, different people, different um, levels. Um, so always think about trying to join a club. So say I've been able to find someone to practice against, whether it uses short pimples, 
What's the most challenging aspect of there being less spin on the ball? There's two things. One is recognising it, and the second thing is being able to react quickly enough once you recognise it. And I think a lot of players recognise that the ball's a bit different, but then they don't react quickly enough to be able to adjust their stroke. The main issue is that you're reacting naturally to a ball coming back with inverted rubber. So that's what your brain has uh, become used to. So now the ball's coming back a bit differently and you need to recalibrate the brain to be able to adjust your stroke slightly. So th the ball's coming over and your brain automatically has your, your racket angle um, so. But what it actually needs is your racket angle to be a little bit further back so that you can lift that ball because the ball doesn't have as much top spin. It's flatter and it's lower. Do you have any tips if I'm playing a match against a player using short pimples and maybe I've never even played against that player before? At the start of a match, just check your opponent's racket to see what type of rubber they have on. So we can see there that that's clearly an inverted rubber. Pretty simple. But here we've got a racket with short pimples and long pimples. So it's important to check the racket and see what type of pimple it is. Is it a short or is it a long? Because the effect of the short and long are quite different. How do you tell whether it's short or long? This is a long pimple and there, when you rub your fingers across the long pimple, there's quite a bit of give in the movement of the pimple. With the short pimple, Okay, there is still, a, there's a little bit of give, but it's not as much as the long pimples. If your eyesight's good enough, you can actually see whether the pimple is short or long. They're called short pimples because they're a little bit shorter, so the black pimple is shorter than the red pimple. One of the keys is to be able to adjust during a match. So during a match, it's really important that you see the errors that are being made and are able to adjust to those errors. So if you see yourself hitting the ball into the net once, twice, three times um, in a game, you need to st stop, be able to think and be able to adjust your stroke during the match. It's no good to let that whole game go, go back to your corner, maybe talk to your coach or have a think about it in between games because you might be two games to nil down by the time you um, are able to adjust. If your opponent's serving with short pimples, remember they're not going to be able to generate as much spin as they could with an inverted rubber. So treat it like a no spin serve so you can flick it or attack the ball. So Alois, what's your summary of what to do when playing against short pimples? The key is to be able to adjust your stroke. So if the ball's coming back to you flatter, and lower, you need to think about lifting the ball a bit more so that it's, you're getting the ball up over the net. A common mistake I see when players are playing against short pimples is that they'll hit the ball straight back into the net because they're expecting there to be a bit more topspin on the ball than there actually is. Most players that use short pimples will use the short pimples on their backhand side and they'll tend to play fairly close to the table because once you go back away from the table with the short pimples, it's hard to generate enough speed and spin to be able to get an effective stroke from away from the table. So you'll find that in general, most short pimples players will play fairly close and use that pimple on their backhand side. A short pimple player doesn't have as much margin because they're playing with less top spin. So they need to be very accurate Otherwise the ball's gonna fly off or go into the net. So that heavy spin is difficult for the short pimples player to control. You see that one just sails right off the end because I'm not generating much top spin off the short pimples. So ideally, if you can get the short pimple player back away from the table, then they become much less effective with that short pimple rubber. The other thing to think about is to not give them just speed to work with. The short pimpled players in general tend to like a fast, flat rally. If you can slow the ball down, generate more top spin and more back spin, it makes it a bit more difficult for them to play with the short pimples. 
Now that you've learned how to play against short pimples, why not watch our latest video or visit the pingskills.com website for everything ping skills.